Hi, I'm Jenica Egan, the editor of Green Building Pro. We're here at Green Build 2009 in Phoenix, Arizona. With over 1,000 sponsors and 24,000 attendees, we're ready to visit the exhibit floor and see what's new in Green Building. I'm thoroughly enjoying the show. It's been awesome. There are way more people than I even expected, and everybody is positive and talking green, and it's really fun to see the energy around green in the room. I've realized a long time ago that buildings have an immense impact on the planet, and it's our responsibility as professionals to make them more responsible. I think this is here to stay. We've done some consumer research that shows that it's not just a trend, that a lot of consumers now are really starting to look for the green option, no matter what the product is. You know, people are tuning into it and, and, and they want to be green, and I think now it, it just really gives them the push to do that because there's such a, uh, a social focus on, on, on being green. Sustainability movement has been a, a great boon to the economy because it gets people thinking in a new direction. We're starting to think of how we can be better stewards of our planet, but also save energy and, and save the environment at the same time. 40% of the energy used in the United States today is in homes and buildings, and more than transportation, more than industry, and there's an opportunity here. We know we have the technology today to reduce that amount, so that's good for the environment. It creates green jobs. It creates uh, the opportunity to spend that money some other way for all these consumers, and don't we all need a few extra bucks right now? Uh, we see it as being absolutely a ripe time to use innovation to address all these green concerns. Uh, there's so much to do on so many levels in construction. Construction is always lagged behind a number of industries. This is nothing but opportunity out there. And uh, it's going to drive innovation big time. And we see it just as being nothing but positive. I think it's a combination of all. I, I don't think you can point to any one direction. I think you know it's more consciousness in the American public to the need to conserve energy. It's, you're starting to see manufacturers committing resources to developing new products that address the energy conservation, being sensitive to it. Those products are more uh, frequent coming out into the marketplace and therefore more available. And so the cost has become more affordable, just as anything. As you see more players get into it, the cost comes down. You're seeing a lot of that as by the attendants here at Greenbuild and the people who are attending here. Um, so, you know, again, over the next three to five years, I think you see this industry change significantly, even from what it is today, and see a lot more players involved as we all come together and figure out how we best serve ourselves long term with energy conservation. There's a real intellectual curiosity. I think it's one of the shows where people really look forward to the trade booths. They want to go in, they want to see the innovation. I'm frustrated, I haven't had a chance to go around because we've been so busy here, but I'm looking forward to going around and hopefully see some, some truly innovative stuff. This is our uh, Pilar Touch 2O technology faucet. This is our new Shield product we introduced just this year. We have a horizontal rainwater storage system. It's called the original rainwater pillow. This is a uh, Sloan Valve Company's new what we call Senso Faucet. It's a real-time, web-based energy monitoring system. Fiberglass mat gypsum panels. Geothermal heating and cooling systems. We have solar power, trash compactor units. Glass wood, which means we have wood fiber, southern yellow pine, and we infuse glass into the wood fibers. At American Clay, what we do is we manufacture uh, interior clay plaster and produce naturally beautiful walls software tools for engineers and architects, non-PVC flooring, waterborne finishes, stonal insulation, a spray polyurethane foam. This is a daylighting product. It's not a skylight. It put 35% more light than the skylight. A lot of solar powered, a lot of wind generation. We're a green roof uh, materials manufacturer. For all practical purposes, we're green roof farmers. The smart, innovative companies that will succeed in the future are the ones that are going ahead and, and making these advancements either on their own or slightly ahead of the curve. And those that complain, in my opinion, can eventually be left behind as they are addressing a market that may no longer exist as these became adopted as standard practices. Innovation is something that, that happens on a continuous basis. So products like our ambient LED and our deco LED products, which are retrofit LED bulbs that you can buy today in the market and begin using in your home or in a hotel or, or an environment like that. You know, that's the start. Those required new innovation with LEDs and we just continue that process 
with our teams around the world to make sure that you know we keep coming up with new solutions. Well, one of the things that we've traditionally done in the past has just been to control a particular system within a building. But now owners and facility professionals are much more inter interested in an integrated approach. How do I tie all of these systems together, feed up information real time to a website so that I can gauge my energy usage and actively manage the way my building is performing. And sustainability has created that need to bring together all of those various and disparate systems and put it together in one package that they can look at and examine. We really need to, to look at energy efficiency um, much more strongly, renewables. Uh, so that's really where our business trend is, is, is um, to renewable energy. And we do a lot of the environmental permitting for solar and wind projects. Um, but also, again, sort of just looking at overall sustainability. The systems and products that we offer have allowed for efficiency, efficiency in delivery and in comfort systems for a really long time, but we just didn't know how cool they were until all of this came to the surface. But um, really into the structure of a home or a building, which means that you're building efficiency into the system already. And green from a perspective, our employees are educated and they're excited about contributing to being part of a green company and not one that's doing brown exercises but claiming that they're green. So really trying to walk the talk. We're, we're making every effort to do that. It's what we know for sure is that you cannot have an environmentally product, friendly product be of inferior quality. It can't be disadvantagedly priced. Uh, and so that those pressure points are what are creating those innovation opportunities. All too often I'll see architects and, and, and builders kind of jump up and say, look I found this thing that says eco on it so therefore it must be good. Really, like anything else, you need to ask questions. And the questions that I ask are pretty straightforward. Where does it come from? What are the byproducts of making it? How healthy is it? What are you going to do with, your, with it when you're done with it? And how durable is it? And those are good questions. And you might not get the answers to all those questions. In fact, you probably won't. But by asking the question, I think you're starting a conversation. And at least you'll start to see that there is no perfect material. Every material has some, some impact. But by asking those five questions, you can start to mitigate the impact and, and really find opportunities for yourself. Uh, I think having a new administration and, and the fact that green building has sort of taken root, it sort of can't go back to the way it was before. That too many people are aware of, of the issues, and especially now with the economy being somewhat tumultuous, saving water, saving energy, saving money, these are all smart things that are now even smarter things to do. And the folks that were building green and have more efficient buildings and are saving water and, and all those things already are in a better spot than those folks that are now trying to play catch up. I think it's good for, it's good for communities, it's good for uh, not just the commercial market but also the residential market. There are a lot of fantastic products that have been developed in just the last five to eight years that uh, uh, as people attend these types of shows will become more and more commonplace in the market, not just at an exhibition, uh, but it'll be more of a common practice. It's about good business. So if you're making good business decisions, then if you've got the, the green attitude, the sustainability attitude, jump on board because that's going to help you get the word out and it's going to ratify the kind of things that you're doing. It will be the only way to build it. Ultimately, the word green goes away. You know, it's just, it's building. This is, this is how we build. We've got to keep this green as not just a one-time event. We really have to be thinking about it the whole year so that uh, Green Build becomes more of a, a continuous environment and a thought process as opposed to you know, just November, suddenly people start thinking about being green.